Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. Yes, in my Jag, but this is for anybody who's ever done this. You press the old washer, and nothing happens. Or, you get that horrible egg smell. Now, your washer bottle is normally located. Now, on most cars nowadays, they're quite big, and they're gonna be down underneath this wing. Now, the egg smell is generally when it's been in a long time, or you haven't used proper screen wash. Now, in all my videos, I try and give a top tip as well. Now, for me, mine is dead, and I'm gonna show you in a second how to get it out. But the reason why, and is my top tip, is people use neat, concentrated screen wash. Now, it doesn't sound bad in itself, but what happens is people let it run completely out. They then get a bottle of concentrated screen wash, they pour it all in there, add a bit of water, try it once, away you go. That then sits around that pump, a very long time and it damages the pump which happened in my case other people use the main ingredient obviously of screen wash is antifreeze so they pour neat antifreeze in there and then top up with water antifreeze is highly corrosive and will damage a tiny little pump and they can cost a few pennies the top tip if you do run out of screen wash pour water in first and then use your concentrate screen wash or use the already mixed one which you can get but that's quite a lot of money to be honest with you don't use washing up liquid and just plain water. In the summer it's okay, but it will cause that egg smell and it will freeze in the winter, which is when you really need it, when you've got crap all over your screen and you want to clear it and you press the button and nothing happens. Anyway, let me show what's wrong with mine. Now on most cars nowadays, they're quite big and they're going to be down underneath this wing. Getting to it, as I say, is just not a problem with one screwdriver. Now, if it's blocked, you're never going to get it out here, sucking the water out, trying to put a hose down it. And as I said, in the garage, they're going to charge you quite a lot of labour. But for you, today, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it can be to just simply clean it up or replace it. This is not even a down and dirty thing. I've got my gloves on, though. Literally, pop these two out. Nice and easy these are, you just leave them out with your screwdriver and they come out in your hand. Then, small screwdriver, careful not to damage the paintwork, just push it out. Okay, this is a jag and it's got some soundproofing, very nice. And there it is, simple as that, and you just pull that out, push under the cable, pull it out, lots of water's going to be out of there obviously. Let me just pop it out. When that was full, I did try and top it up. It smells good, though. And there it is. Now, you can get these on eBay for around about 10, 20 pounds. This Jag one is 89 pounds on eBay, and I can't imagine what it cost from the Jag dealer. So you're probably looking at £150 after them fixing itself. And that's how easy it is to just take it off and replace. And all you do then is a new one, just pop back in again, refill, job done. How simple is that? Yes, as I said, an awful lot of money. Anyway, make sure the connector's nice and dry. And again, make sure it's nice and dry before you fit the new one. I already bought a new one, and it is literally just plug and play. You push in there, connect it back in, and pop back in the hole. But I'm gonna flush my system out. There's the garden hose, turn it on. Pop the finger in the hole, let it fill up a little bit, and then let it pour out. Best thing to do, when you drained it out, it gets all the bits out of there as well. You will have a little bit in the pipe itself, so when you flushed it all through, simply just run it for a little while. Now remember sometimes, um, I'm going about the pump and cleaning all that, but just sometimes a needle, simply poke the needle in where the jet hole is, push it in, give it a wiggle round, take it out and then try it again. But I had bigger problems because I knew my pump wasn't working. So today's chat realistically is if it smells eggy, lumps you know splatting out on there or it's not working at all that's what i'm doing today 
not this very very simple stick a pin in it First, add a couple of litres of water, then put your concentrated screen wash in, and then top up with water. If you get any spilt anywhere, it's concentrated, it can damage the paintwork, rinse and just rub it off afterwards. Why is this empty? Because I put it in when I thought I was recording, and it wasn't. It's been a while since I did the video. And we're back in the car again, start the car and see if it works. Let's press the button now. And there we have them working. Yay. Now mine, obviously the Jag are different than other cars, only spray on the up and not the down. But anyway, let's get it through. And I can smell some nice, clean, fresh screen wash. Job done, happy days. Thank you so much for watching. Hope my tips are helpful. It's just simple, I mean, you know, it can cost a lot of money, go to a garage, and look how easy that was. It's a 10 minute job, and it's working again. So don't be worried about, you know, pulling a panel off and having a look underneath. Nice and simple. For those who are regular viewers of my channel, you know that I do a lot more bikes, and the other day's peds, and now my Jag. I do like the Jag. Haven't released many videos lately. It's been hard to find decent bikes out there. Uh, I find that most of them now seem to be from a certain group of people selling the bikes and you really, really do need to do your checks, i.e. crash, cat D, cat Ns, cat S, and so on now, um, and finance, stuff like that. You need to pay for the extra check, because a lot of bikes and cars out there, not stolen, just damaged or on finance, and you end up owing that money. Hence, I've been playing with little bikes, I've been done a couple of times now. It's bound to happen, you take people, you know, for face value, you believe what they say, and my strongest suggestion today would be don't do that anymore. Do your checks, pay that extra bit of money, not the 199 check, do the bigger check. Because um, otherwise you'll end up with a finance or a bike that's damaged and then you lose on it. And that's not nice to do. Anyway, there you go, that's why I've not done many bikes. I am looking for summer bike again. I am loving my Tiger, I really am. It's a great workhorse, nice bit of brake horsepower in these little bikes. If you're looking for an adventure bike, Yes, your GSs are brilliant. Um, the 1215 of this is too, just too big. This is an 800, perfect for a short ass like me. And um, I'm enjoying it. I am looking for maybe another little sports bike for the summer or maybe a cruiser. That may be my coming next video. Anyway, chatting on. Take care of yourselves. Please like, share, keep subscribing. Stay with me. My best video now, my 1200 is hitting my target. I wanted a video of 100,000 views and it's 99 and a half. It's my VFR 1200 Honda. Well happy with that. Nearly got two and a half million views in total, and I'm well up there at eight and a half thousand views. That's all thanks to you. So thank you so much for watching. Do take care of yourselves on the road. Nice and easy, you just push that out. Use neat, concentrated antifreeze. Scream screen wash other people saving money because the main con So thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe. <coughs> for those who are regular viewers of my channel, you know that I do a lot more bikes than the other day's peds and now my Jag. I do like the Jag. Not many bikes recently. <coughs> haven't released a few video. Haven't released many videos lately. My best video now, the VFR 800. Now remember sometimes I'm going about the pump and cleaning it all out 
but just sometimes a needle, finding where the jet is, and poking the needle in the hole, and wiggling it around, will free up the system. I knew I had bigger problems because the pump wasn't working. And of course, it doesn't get rid of the egg smell. So, if it's blocked, simple needle, poke it in the little hole that the jet would normally be there. Matt, just in case you wonder where I've been, as you asked the other day, guys. <laughs> oh, I've got something, guys. I'm happy with my Triumph 